Okay, after I have completed editing the entire paper, I go back to the abstract and I make a lot of changes based on the content um, that I've read as well as on my, my changes that I made in the body of the paper. My first change to the abstract will be replacing 2 with 4 because this action, regulating, pertains to the policy. The sentence describes a policy for regulating limits rather than this this action does not pertain to promoted um, promoting the policy doesn't relate directly to regulating the limit here I will add that emitted by because it was unclear how these vehicles and activities related to air pollution. By adding that, which which means air pollution in this context, it's clear what this is a list of examples of. Here, the meaning of which is unclear, I will replace it with this policy based on the context in the previous sentence. And I'll replace this with be established with serve just for brevity and readability. Here I'll add implementing as I did earlier in the paper. And an article is required before this noun design. Here we can omit this D because um, complete is most, it's best expressed as an adjective here rather than a participle. Here I'll replace of with on because on is the appropriate preposition for relating a noun to a topic that it concerns. It means regarding in this context. Here I'll replace presented with conducted. Um, presented was ambiguous in that context, mainly because it's unclear where the pollution, where the studies might have been presented. This apostrophe must be deleted because this is not a possessive construction. Um, the S is simply a plural marker here representing several years in a decade. Here I'm adding a. Uh, a uh is always used in the phrase only a few. Um, the phrase only few is never used. Here, um, Trent needed a, a an article or a plural marker. I've chosen the plural marker because this is a very general reference to trends in general. And again, I'll add a plural marker here because it refers to sy systems in general. By alone was vague. I added using to improve clarity. Here I will simply replace use with employed only for word variety because I use the using here. Here another article is required for grade. The article is not required here for data because data this data has not been mentioned previously. Here relationship is more specific than relation. Good is overly vague for this context. Based on the context, I will use effective. And I will add design after process safety to improve readability.
here via is ambiguous um, via can via is mainly used to describe um, a route or a path uh, before evaluating it's pretty inappropriate because the results themselves cannot determine the trend I will add um, be used to determine and this text can be deleted for brevity using also after and is generally redundant Here serve as although it's longer than B, it um, using serve as rather than B improves readability. Here I'll replace further with future because further cannot be used to modify countable nouns such as studies. Here, on can be omitted because the verb evaluating is sufficient. Again, and also is redundant. Here, to avoid changing the author's meaning, I will use those to represent studies because um, on air pollution control is not necessarily equivalent to evaluating air pollution control. And finally, I will delete this phrase because um, its purpose is unclear. I will tell the author this in a comment. And I will add a few final um, explanatory comments to clarify my changes in the abstract now. First, I'll start with good. Good was overly general. In this context, please review this context specific substitution. And further can be used only to modify non countable nouns. Please review this substitution. Okay, I will quickly review the keywords to make sure that they have no spelling errors. Um, some, um, most journals have specific requirements on formulating, on formatting keywords, but here I do not need to make any changes because I don't have specific guidelines to follow. And there's no problems here with the corresponding author. Finally, I'll go back up to the title and revise it based on my understanding of the paper. Here, um, according to the content, information is not relevant here. Um, also, the paper seems to discuss three types of analysis, so I will change this to a series. And because the comparison is not necessarily performed by evaluating air quality trends, I'll change this to four because the analyses were used for evaluating air quality trends in Japan. And finally, um, 
process safety is not discussed in the body of the paper, or it's mentioned a few times, but it doesn't seem relevant enough to include it in the title, so I'll explain this to the author. Because process safety is not discussed in detail in the body of the paper, please consider replacing this phrase with of to ensure that the title is consistent with the content of the paper. Okay. The heading for the introduction looks fine. It doesn't require any changes, although Many um, journals have specific requirements for the formatting of the introduction. Um, also, it's important to review all of the headings in each in for each section to make sure that they are consistent. For now, there's we don't need to make any changes to this this heading. The first change I'll make is to replace issue with concern, because issue is a much it's a very ambiguous term. It has a lot of meanings in, in different contexts. I have a specific comment to explain this change that I will attach here. <coughs> the comment says that issue is a vague term with multiple meanings. Please review this context-specific context substitution. After a quick review of the station, the sentence, it looks like I'll need to restructure it to improve the wording and clarity. So I'll move global society here. concern related to environmental aspects. Aspects is also vague here. It looks like this is a list of problems. Because I've added this comment here about concerns, I think the author should be able to infer why I made this change here. So I won't leave a comment here. Here I'll replace well with highly because again it is more specific. I'll add this plural marker to outcomes because um, the following is a list of multiple outcomes. The meaning of smart here is very unclear. So I will explain to the author why I deleted this term. Meaning of this term is unclear in this context. Please review the deletion to ensure that your intended meaning was retained. Here is needs to be changed to R for subject verb agreement. Above is another vague term um, because it could refer to anywhere in the paper and um, after a paper is is published the the text that's referred to might not even be above, it might be on a different page. So we should always replace it with a more specific term here, aforementioned works. A 
supporting alone here is vague. I will add the notion that global society should shift and I'll tell the author that I added this text to improve clarity Okay, <laughs> now I will review this sentence in the final version to make sure that there's no errors in it. Okay, I will move on to the next paragraph here. I will remove due to because due to is extremely vague at the beginning of a sentence and here it seems grammatically inappropriate because it, it's unclear what which noun due to applies to here I will replace it with because of <coughs> here I'll use the adjective because economy m modifies progress here It is best to remove expletive constructions such as there is, there are, mainly for readability. Um, and also, it, it can create ambiguity in some circumstances. Again, issues can be replaced with a more specific term, such as problems. As a result, it can always be replaced with consequently for brevity. And a number of can re be replaced with several, or numerous, depending on the context. Okay, but because the discussion after this sentence seems to pertain to policies that have already been formulated, I'm going to change the tense here for consistency. I'm also going to change the wording because conducting seems inappropriate in this context. Several countries have formulated. Up can be deleted um, for brevity and readability. Um, phrasal verbs often stand out as something that can be easily changed in a paper to improve the quality of the writing. Okay, here the capitalization of the initial letters is unnecessary because this term is not a proper noun. Figure out can be shortened to determine. After reviewing the sentence a second time, I feel resolve is a more appropriate term. Okay. I'll change to the final version here, and I need to add a few comments to help the author clarify this sentence. Here, I will suggest that the author omit these quotation marks unless they were used by um, the author of this study, because otherwise their purpose is unclear. The purpose of these quotation marks is unclear. 
if they do not enclose a specific quote used by Chen et al. Please omit them. Okay, and second, no specific demands have been mentioned in a previous sentence, so I'll ask the author to clarify which demands they are referring to. This phrase can easily be shortened to for example, for brevity and for readability. Again, I change the tense here according to the context. Here, all is appropriate because the author is referring to any possible sources of pollution. Here, I'll delete the plural marker from firecrackers because it modifies exhaust. I'll also delete the plural marker from exhaust because exhaust is a non-countable noun in this context. Again, due to is ambiguous in this context. I will change due to in response to improve clarity. And now I'm reviewing the sentences in the final version to make sure there's no errors. Okay, next I will change this phrase to regarding for brevity. I will make this change again for specificity. And again, due to is very ambiguous. I will replace it with a ver verb phrase. Okay. Sound here is somewhat ambiguous. I, but it can work in this context because sound can refer to um, the security or reliability of the design. So I will simply provide some options for the author. sufficient. Here I'll explain to the author my change for due to. Okay, next sentence.
here cope with um, is vague in relation to legislation. A more specific option is alleviate. Here, the meaning of where is unclear. It doesn't connect the information in the subsequent clause to the clause that I just reviewed. So I will separate the two clauses into separate sentences. Okay, and after reviewing the sentence in detail, it looks like it will require um, complete restructuring. Here I'll delete this plural marker because matter is a non-countable noun in the context. Here I'll use substantial instead of massively because it's a more formal term. Okay, I have reviewed the sentence to make sure there's no um, minor errors in it, and I will move, move to the next sentence. Here I'll replace sentence with because, because this um, clause describes a cause for the subsequent clause rather than um, uh, it's not related to time. So because is a, a better option in this context. I made this change um, for brevity and readability. And I will restructure the sentence in the active voice <coughs> also to improve readability. Here I'm going to change this to this excellent outcome singular because only one outcome is mentioned in the previous sentence. Here I'm going to enclose this information in parentheses for readability. In revision I've used this abbreviation EG because it's a brief way of stating for example and it's commonly used in 
in academic writing context. And I'll remove this in for brevity because the in is already provided here. And now I'll enclose this in parentheses, mainly for consistency. In lists of examples, and is generally more appropriate than or. Okay. An essential verb is missing here. I'm going to add one. But I'll also provide a comment to tell the author that he or she should um, use the most appropriate verb depending on what they intend to express. Here, it, it's unclear how on relates technologies to renewable energy, so I'll replace it with four. Okay, and this information here can be deleted and added to the beginning of the sentence to improve the readability and the overall structure. And I've altered the wording slightly, but I've retained the general overall meaning. Um, I had to alter the wording slightly for readability. Okay, I've noticed um, something I overlooked the first time. This plural marker should be deleted because gas modifies emissions. It's very important to check the sentences in the final version to make sure there's no minor errors that, have, that might have been overlooked. Okay, so I need to provide some comments um, explaining my changes here. Here I'll explain that it, an essential verb was missing. Please review the addition and consider providing a substitution specific to the context. Okay. Um, next. Um, I cannot understand how advertising technologies relates to real-time measures, so I will ask the author to provide clarification. It is unclear how advertising technologies relate to real-time measures. Please consider clarifying what advertising technologies are provided and is an example of here. Okay, and it's also imp it's also helpful to add educational comments so that our authors can um, understand the reasons for some minor changes and um, learn how to improve their writing overall for future work. So I'll explain to the author here why I used um, why I reordered this sentence. The active voice is generally preferred to the passive.
passive voice in academic writing. Please review this revision. Okay, after reviewing um, this in the marked version, I feel I can move on to the next paragraph. This preposition requires revision um, to clarify how awareness relates to sustainable development. A comma must always be placed before which in American English because which in contrast to that sets off um, a non-restrictive clause. Here the article can be deleted because redesign is not a countable noun in the context. This hyphen can be deleted because socio is not a standalone prefix. And another comma is required here to set off the non restrictive clause. Okay, there's a problem here in the reference citation. This comma is unnecessary and is not used in the other reference citations, so I've deleted it there. Um, according to the subsequent part of the sentence, a concept is actually referred here rather than idea. And I will make several general wording improvements to this sentence. Um, so there's not necessarily grammatical problems here, but uh, for clarity and readability, um, some wording improvement is really required. I will change these nouns to verbs. should involve generating and enhancing values by linking. Um, if linking is used after by in this way, it should generally be followed after an, followed by an object, so I'm going to change this to through. Um, that will also require further clarification by the author. Um, repeating this term seems unnecessary, so I'll move general to the first usage of concept and I'll change this to can be practiced And I'll explain some of these changes in the marked up version. First, I will attach a comment to the period, um, which means that the comment applies to the entire sentence. And I will explain that I revised the sentence for readability. Please ensure that your intended meaning was retained. And I will also let the author know that this usage of linking is very vague. Meaning of linking is unclear here. Please consider specifying what is linked.
And here I also want to add a comment because recently is a vague time reference. It's helpful to tell the authors to provide a specific range or year because this time reference may become become outdated when this paper is read years from now please consider specifying a year or range of years or simply omitting this term Okay, the meaning of this um, entire clause here is unclear, mainly the following terms. So I will delete that and revise the sentence and explain the changes to the author. So I will change this to studies in the fields of science, knowledge and action. I'll add a serial comma here. And just make sure that it's the right color for consistency. And human and natural systems. This comma is no longer necessary because this is no longer a list of examples. Have been conducted because studies is the subject of this sentence. Intensely is somewhat vague here. I will replace it with frequently and also um, explain my reason for the change to the author. Okay, um, later in the sentence, topic is used, so we don't need issues here. Since pollution control and, and crisis requires an article, I regard it as a global topic. Global can also mean comprehensive, so to clarify that this refers to the entire world, I'm going to use worldwide. Okay, and this sentence will require some commenting. First, I will address intensely. This ever was somewhat vague in the context. Please review the substitution to ensure that your intended meaning was retained. And I'll provide a similar comment for this clause. Here I will suggest concern because it seems appropriate in the context, although topic works well here too. And I've kept since here because this does seem to be a, a time reference. Since the time when pollution control and the energy crisis have been regarded as a worldwide topic or concern.
Hmm. On second thought, I think I will replace this with concern because it seems more appropriate. Okay, two su studies are referenced here. So I will change this to the present perfect tense. The present perfect tense is used in references to multiple studies because um, the actions pertaining to the study have occurred over an extended period of time. They're not isolated to a specific period in time. Here, due to is inappropriate again. Here, topic seems inappropriate as well. because it, uh, it's unclear which topic that the author is referring to. <coughs> and I think that we can remove that exists to improve readability. Cooperative studies cannot really be considered as a field. It's more of a um, research modality more than anything. So I'll delete that here. In revision, I will leave out the hyphen in long standing because um, in unit modifiers, the hyphen is usually omitted when it follows the noun that it modifies. So because long standing is after studies here, I will leave out the hyphen. Here, individual is overly vague for the context. We can replace it with researcher. The meaning of aspect is unclear. I will provide a comment on that later. And although there's no ambiguity here, um, it's best to replace slashes with a conjunction, such as and or. or. Um, here I'm mainly doing that for readability, although usually I do that for clarity. Okay, I will provide that comment that I mentioned. On aspect, the meaning of this term is unclear in this context. Please provide a specific substitution such as characteristics or traits so here I've told the author what's wrong with the usage and it's also very important to provide options so they have an idea of how to correct um, correct the usage appropriately And it's also helpful to provide some educational comments. Um, I think an appropriate educational comment here is to explain why I replaced um, his slash her with his or her. This usage of the slash was unclear. Please review 
the substitution of this conjunction. Okay, I will review the next sentence in the final version. <laughs> Here, I cannot determine what issues it means depending on the context, so I will ask the author to provide a substitution for me. Well argued is an unclear phrase. I will replace it with I think for clarity my best option is the subject of extensive argument. I've replaced of with four to clarify how solution relates to the issues. Here, worked out can be replaced with determined because the subject is solution. Um, worked out is very vague. T together can be more clearly expressed as cooperatively because it's not clear which two people or things are working together. I'll replace registering with registration here for for readability. Usually the participle is not used in contexts where in a list of nouns. Because all of the items in this list seem to pertain to policy, I'll remove policy here. Here too can be omitted for brevity. And here any seems kind of vague and colloquial, so I'll replace it with this. Now I will provide comments um, to ask the other to clarify the unclear points. The meaning of this phrase is unclear. Please consider rewording this phrase to improve clarity. Now it's difficult for me not to provide suggestions here. I always like to provide suggestions, but I really cannot determine the author's intended meaning based on the text that the author provided. Okay. And here I see a mistake that I overlooked earlier. I will delete that. And now I will provide my comment on issues.
meaning of issues is unclear in this context. Please consider using problems, concerns, or topics depending on your intended meaning. Okay, one final check in the final version and we will be done with this paragraph.